Are you somebody who likes the Captain America films? Who enjoys the man out of time attitude, the warm hearted, almost father like kindness he conveys? Then let me ask you a question. What do you think of Man of Steel? Hello everybody, welcome to the Cosmic Collective, my name is Noah, and this will be a video discussing how Warner Brothers treats the Man of Steel, and how he and Captain America are similar, if not the same, character. Warner Brothers, as demonstrated by every Superman movie after Superman 2, the recent announcement of casting a black Superman on Henry Cavill's birthday, and the general state of the DC film universe as a whole, shows they don't know anything about Superman. So, I'm going to teach them. I just said Captain America and Superman are the same character, so I guess I should explain that. Captain America is a man from the 40s without all the bad parts. He's man out of time, brought to our modern day. And in the same way, Clark comes from a land largely untouched by the modern world. A little town called Smallville. Somebody save me! Okay, let's not do that again. Anyway, Smallville is just about as traditionally American as you can get, minus the bad parts. Just as Captain America enters the unfamiliar modern day, Clark leaves Smallville and enters the new and unfamiliar metropolis. Unless you remember those comics where he bounces around the world helping people with his powers pre-Superman, but even then, he's usually only there to solve problems and leave. He's never truly exposed to the world around him outside of that problem. Next is Captain America's belief that his powers don't make him special, his heart does. We see this in the films as demonstrated by his jumping on the grenade in the boot camp part of the first film, not to mention him fighting the guy in the alleyway in his line in Civil War, saying, if I see a situation going south, I can't ignore it. Superman is the same way. His powers don't make him Superman. The lessons he learned in the life he lived in Smallville does. Shown in the moments when he's depowered but still tries to help, or in times when talking to someone is more helpful than punching them. Lastly is Captain America's utter denial of anything evil, which some people find annoying. In the first Avenger, Cap says he doesn't like bullies, which at the time were the Nazis. And this idea carried on to the other MCU outings. Loki, the government, slash Hydra, Ultron, the government again, Thanos. Cap fights against anything he feels is wrong. Superman is the same as Cap in this regard too, although this is typically seen as a flaw in Superman's character by people who don't really understand him. That he's too perfect. That Clark's tendency to always be right is annoying. My response to that is that Clark isn't meant to be human. Clark isn't meant to be a realistic person. Clark isn't meant to be a reflection of who we are. He's a reflection of who we could be. And if you don't like that, that's fine. Not everybody is going to like everything. That's just how opinions work. So Warner Brothers, how do you make a good Superman movie? Get Smallville and the Kents right. Understand Clark's powers don't make him Superman and understand that Clark isn't a normal human being but he's what a human being could be. That, and you gotta get the romance action and tone right, but what do I know, I'm not a writer. Hey guys, sorry he's gone for a bit. These videos take a long time to produce, like a lot longer than you would think. Um, that's probably why most comic YouTubers don't upload every however long, because it takes a long time. Anyway, just be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm going to have a video about Jack Kirby's The Fourth World coming out very soon, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.